Hey everybody, ever wonder what was on TV the night that Taylor Swift was born, December 13th, 1989? Well, neither have I until re- Hey, there's Taylor! Oh yeah, she's definitely an environmental champion. Her ears must have been burning. Well, she's jetting off now. All right, where were we? So December 13th, 1989 was a Wednesday. So let's look at the prime time schedule and see what was on. Ah, at 8 p.m., it's a brand spanking new episode of Unsolved Mysteries. This, this one's program two, is about Unsolved 12. Mysteries. Whenever possible, the actual family members and police officials That's pretty have cool participated in recreating the, the events. To do what you're about to see is not a news broadcast. On Christmas Eve in 1931, oh, a couple yeah. made an incredible My discovery boy, Robert in a lonely Stack. Arizona desert. A baby girl abandoned in a hatbox. Hatbox baby! Baby Sharon Elliott, the so-called hatbox baby, wants to learn the truth about her parents and find the couple who rescued her on that long ago Christmas Eve. Nice. For 30 years, Joe Shambier has oh, been a real life creepy old Santa, that millions checks out. Of children who listen to his radio broadcast. But this man who has given children so much happiness is searching for his own child, Alberta Elaine, who was given up for adoption 50 years ago. Also tonight, we will tell the story of John Brandt, a Chicago physician and civil rights lawyer uh, who was in prison for murdering Dr. his wife Richard 20 Kimble. years ago. A crime Turns out they did eventually let this guy out of prison in 1990, but it was too late because he died innocence. of a brain tumor just a if couple months true, later. And a man has been Sad trombone. in prison. <laughs> Tonight, John Branion makes his final appeal. Nice, let's see what's next. All right, up at 9 p.m., we have a TV movie special, Christmas Star in America, Rogers, starring Kenny Rogers. That they want when they buy. Now, it took me a while to figure this one out, what it really was. But it seems like around this time, Kenny Rogers had a new Christmas album, and he also had a movie and a Kmart tie-in, where Kmart sponsored this TV movie. Kmart celebrates Christmas in America. And these are some the commercials from the TV movie. The electric walk. The quality you need at the price you want. Christmas in America. And this a was some kind of a has been brought photo, to you by mo Kmart. a movie from a photo book. Monday, oh man, I love this commercial right now. Score. That She's aired the during the TV style. special. She it's got Rudy Huxtable and the dad from Family, family Ties. Child, baby. Good With stuff. Sir Lancelot, Merlin, and Family Ties. Michael Gross's King Arthur. This has some serious Scrooge vibes, classic, like the Night the Ranger died. All right, let's keep it rolling. Ah, uh, we got an episode of Quantum Leap. One of my all-time favorite shows. Now in this show, Dr. Santa Beckett lines, leaps through time, putting like right what once went wrong. Quixote. This episode's an interesting Stranger. one, which features time, as one of the actors, the series Set creator right Donald P. Belisario and his then wife, the Deborah Pratt. Foe. Sam has leapt into Timothy Mintz, played by Belisario, which you really only see in the mirror shots. He plays a parapsychologist working with a character named Troyan Claridge, played by his wife, Deborah Pratt a young widow who insists her late husband is haunting her. The husband drowned in a lake on the property, though his body was never recovered. The same fate as his ancestor, Priscilla, Priscilla, Priscilla Clarence, sorry, in 1840. Sam's mission in this episode is to keep Troyan from drowning in the same lake. If this is glory, Now, this character Troyan is actually named trouble. after the couple's real-life daughter. The episode is one of the first ones in the series to feature the possibility of paranormal activity, ghosts, in the Quantum Leap universe. Much like future episodes that have aliens, Bigfoot, vampires. So it's definitely an interesting episode and uh, one that's very important for developing the universe in which the show exists. Did you hear him? Oh boy. Julian, you must It's a very classic episode. I don't think so. But he kept calling my name over and over again. <laughs> Troyan, oh boy. Troyan, please tell me you heard it. Look, it's it, it, it's gonna pour. Um, Troyan! Put her head for cover. Oh, oh boy, it looks like Taylor's back. She's telling us it's time to go. Well, that was our look at what was on TV the night she was born on December 13th, 1989. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time.